And we're back to day six of the Raylene build. And today will probably be the last day of the Raylene build series, but I got a whole lot more stuff to do. And what I'm going to do here today, after thinking about it, let me come over here. This wall, or this rail here, is rather, I mean, there's no way to, to make it sturdy, okay? So what I am going to do is come out here, about two foot, with another little knee wall type thing. It'll be the same height. Uh, that will support everything. I'm going to have to find a way to, <laughs> you know, there's no, I don't see any, uh, of the floor joists there, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. Uh, the only other option would be to come, you know, down here at the bottom, have a little kind of like a triangle thing to support it. And then, you know, that's I can just see myself tripping on that. And so it needs to be something because what I want to do in this area is I'm just gonna have a chair, possibly a chair up here with a TV over to that wall and so it doesn't make any difference that, that kind of would separate it a little i wouldn't come out very far uh i don't know but i can't i can't have this and there's the only other option would be to to maybe run a beam up to the ceiling now that that might look okay actually that might be a good idea there because again i have to see if there's a stud in there that you can't secure it to, you know, we're going, I'm going to have to figure this out. And you know I will. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll try different things. I, I really don't want to put another piece of rail up, but I can't have it shimmying like that either. I was hoping putting the panels on would, you know, stiffen it up a little, but it hasn't. Now this one, <laughs> this one here, there's, there's no moving it. I mean, I am trying it will not budge that's how I like it so let me get going on it and we'll see what happens but I still got to finish this one and one of the subscribers made a comment on these two by fours to, to stain them and I may go ahead and do that and save on the cedar lumber because you know the inside look up here that's nobody sees that unless you're up here because I was real worried about what to do where this rebarb is. You know, I would, the only other option would be to paint it, which I may paint too. I don't know. But the stain I got would, is this color here, and I don't think that would look too bad. So we'll see where we get with it. I don't know. I don't sit down and plan anything and draw it out. I just build. So thank you, Rooster. All right, let's get and back in where this electrical was for the old light. Uh, let's go down here. That's got a switch and a outlet. I am going to turn that into just an outlet with no switch. I think I'm going to mount it right there. You know, there ain't, there ain't a lot I can. <laughs> it doesn't have very long lines, so I don't. There's nowhere else I can really put it. But that would be a good place to plug in a night light. Uh, I figure and I still don't have power to this side of the living room so I can always run an extension cord for my like my uh, clock radio and stuff so I'll just put a single outlet in there and uh, later I'll tap in I may just if I had the line I'm gonna uh, run a line up through there off of that yeah, you can go about eight outlets off of one of those breakers so that's what we'll do so I'll get started here. I'd like to get all this buttoned up right in here today along the stairs. Uh, get this covered all up. Well, I just uh, did a little electrical work. I didn't have a, a single outlet box. So I just put a double in there and pulled that light switch out. So I only have one wire going there now. I can tap into that later. <laughs> Really not the most ideal place to put this. I don't really know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to let it hang there for now. Problem is, I cannot oh, finish this 
here until I see I got two two by fours for steps here because I ran out of these boards so until I get those boards and put them steps in I can't finish this wall so we'll hold off on that I how I can do that side though and what I've done here to make this more stable I added this little knee wall which will kind of be cool. You can have a chair in here. You know, might put a shelf in the corner there. Other than that, man, it was, you know, run a pole up to the ceiling, tap into the studs there. I don't want to do that. So it's still got a little give to it, but it's a whole lot stronger than it was. So, yeah, I'm not making a lot of progress today, but we'll get there. I'm going to put this on one video, you know, do wait, see what I do tomorrow. And, I don't get enough today so all right yeah I didn't get a whole lot done on this today uh, I'll just show you what I did real quick and then we'll end this and then tomorrow will be the end of this thing and you know I'll get a little you'll, you'll see more of it later and what slowed me down today well the weather was nice I kind of spent it Outside of the dogs a little bit, but here I got this part done. Got the out. Let me spin around. I got the outlet put in there. I got this part done. But as you can see, I can't go any further down because I've got to pull these two by fours out. Uh, those I should be able to get out anyway when I get the new board. I uh, did not get anything done there. I did get that bottom piece on. Like I said before, this uh, board and batten will come around and that'll be covered. And there's a piece. I made this exactly like this one over here. Get my light. Uh, so that's all I did today, guys. That took me probably getting all that situated 15, 20 minutes. A lot of uh, weird cuts here so uh, tomorrow I'll try to get a better better video of me doing some stuff it's mostly just talking <laughs> well, I just you know go out and make a cut come back in run up the stairs come back in but we're getting there and I, I am gonna like that look let me get down these steps a little bit and we'll see what that looks like I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Boy, I wish I could cover all that up now. Drive me nuts. But, you know, and that is probably the world's weirdest place for an outlet. <laughs> it was either put it there, you know, put it there and have an outlet for now, or just cut the wire and, and reroute it. And I'm not going to go do all that. I mean, I could put a, that could, that could be handy. I got a vacuum cleaner and stuff, you know, who knows. So we'll go ahead and end it here. This is where it's at. I'll get some more done tomorrow. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Happy trails, guys.